Hi there, it's Rob from Octopus. Welcome to Octopus Deploy 2018.6. This month, we're shipping some nice, smaller improvements and also building the foundation for some fantastic new features that should be available in the coming months. Since this is a quieter release, I won't be walking through longer demos, but I'll highlight this month's updates and then talk a bit about the exciting new features coming soon. Let's get started. First up, we're introducing a couple of smaller improvements that have been requested by the Octopus community on our user voice site. One nice improvement is that you can now specify control types for prompted variables. Previously, this was not available as the variable could only be a text input, but now you can also use checkboxes or select lists. A similar small but valuable enhancement is that output variables can now be sensitive this change is a fantastic addition for keeping confidential information safe, and it's beneficial in dynamic provisioning scenarios when you generate passwords on the fly and then use them throughout your deployment. Next, this release is building the foundation for two new features designed for larger teams and companies with big Octopus instances. They're designed to help our customers scale with thousands of projects, environments, and deployments. The first is a feature we call Workers. Workers can be used to replace and extend our feature that allows you to run steps on the Octopus server. This is something that we introduced in Octopus 3.0, and it's commonly used to execute one-off tasks, like database scripts or other things that don't need to run on a specific machine. Workers build upon this with improved security, whereby custom scripts aren't run on the Octopus server during deployments. And it can also improve performance by shifting deployment steps from your Octopus server onto a pool of workers, leaving the server to orchestrate your deployments. There are a number of other great benefits that we'll talk about when we launch this feature. The second is a feature we call Spaces. Spaces allow you to create your own custom world within Octopus, just for you and your team. So you only see your projects, your environments, and your machines. This is incredibly beneficial for large companies with hundreds of developers, testers, and managers, or simply smaller teams with hundreds or thousands of projects and environments. It can be difficult to find the details that are important to you, but this all changes with Spaces, which is coming soon. Be sure to check our blog regularly for updates on these new features, but I can tell you they're coming very soon. Thanks for watching. Links for all the resources used in this video are in the description below, including a link to start a free 45 day trial of Octopus Deploy. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we're adding new videos weekly. Happy deployments.